Hello my beautiful friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Nova Numb Creations and I'm Nova and I'm so glad you decided to join me today. I hope you're having an awesome weekend and if this is your first time here, thank you so much for coming by. I hope that you enjoy the content and that you feel comfy here, that you feel safe here, um, and that you come back and hang out with me. And if it's not your first time here, thank you so much for coming back and hanging out with me and chatting it up in the comments and just being supportive and being good friends to me. So um, thank you for everybody who was telling me that they hoped I felt better yesterday. Um, I have read the comments but I don't do anything to uh, until I can reply to them. Um, so that's why I haven't hearted them yet. But um, well, I had read the comments up until like last night, so if there were new ones this morning, I haven't read those ones yet. Um, but I am feeling better today. Um, my throat still hurts, but it's uh, not as bad as yesterday, and I'm back to thinking it's probably just allergies. I think I just had a particularly um, harsh bout yesterday or something. And also, like I said, you know, the coughing and stuff also did irritate my throat so I think that that was what happened. Um, so today I am drinking some carbonated water. Um, I'm try I tried a new one and it is really good. It is HEB which is a grocery store. It is super reflective <laughs> apparently um, but it is a cranberry raspberry and it is so good. Um, super super good. And I'll probably have some hot tea after this, but I like to drink something carbonated um, when I'm congested because it feels like it kind of cuts through and I don't know, it's just my preference. <laughs> um, anyway, so today I am on here with my circular vest that I had shown you guys the beginning of. Forgot to flip to my little info page in my um, in my little crochet uh, details. This book is I only write the name of what I made, the pattern, the hook, the yarn, and if there's some kind of little notes I write them in here. This is literally just for keeping track of what I made and I write at the top of the page like what month it is and what year it is so that's all that's all I do in this one um and I think it'll be super cool to like have a book that I can refer to I mean I find it super handy already um to have this book I can refer to to see like everything I've made <sighs> I'm so sorry excuse me Okay, so um, the name of the vest is the Pocket Full of Posies Circular Vest. And let me go ahead and pick it up for you guys. I am pretty dang happy with how this came out. So I have it on a hanger um, just because I don't really know the best way to show it to you guys. Um, so here is how the circular vest came out. And this is the pocket full of posies circular vest. Um, and I used a 5.75 millimeter hook. Um, and when you pick the hook size, that is what um, determines the size of the vest. And then here's how the back came out. So um, the size of hook that I picked was in between the small and the medium. Um, I think the small was like a 5.5 and the medium was a 6 or something like that. Um, but I picked a 7 or a 5.75 and so it should be uh, in between. Um, and then now I'll show you the details up close. I just wanted to give you the overall look. So here is the back. Um, I have it kind of looped. Uh, one of the stitches looped around to keep it up. So here's like the back of the neck area. And here's the sleeves. Or lack thereof. So this one, um, it's a vest. So it has a hole. 
um, for your arms, but um, you could definitely add sleeves really easily to this. So something that you could play around with. Oh, forgot, or I skipped the middle detail. So here's the middle of the bat. And this, um, I used um, Lion Brand, uh, Lion Brand Mandala, and the colorway for that was Thunderbird. And then for the edge, um, I switched to a um, Red Heart Roll with It Melange in the colorway of Showtime. So, let's see if I can kind of show you. And I put one of my buttons on here. So I finally got to use one of my buttons. Um, it's not to like use as a closure, it's just like to have my button on there, like a little tag style, stylized kind of thing. Um, but yeah, so the last like four rounds um, are, let's see if I can kind of sit this down. I wanna make sure it's focused for you guys, um, are that other yarn. So the, um, the mandala one was a striping yarn and then the roll with it melange is like a variated yarn, but the colors match so perfectly with the colors that are in this mandala. So it went from like a striping yarn to a variegated yarn but like of the same colors, like even this blue, that's part of the, uh, that's part of the um, Roll With It Melange. And then the blue down here is the blue from the um, Mandala Cake. So yeah, so this is how it came out. And I think that this is going to be super cute. I think it's gonna be a good size too. Um, and it's gonna be a Christmas present. So it'll be a while before the recipient gets it but um I think they're going to love it I really do and I am very very happy with how it came out um and this is super super simple by the way um like very very doable easy pattern um a lot of it is actually just repeating the same thing um, and like up until you get towards the edges, um, it works up really fast. And then, you know, when you get towards the edges, you got to go around and around and around. Um, this vest is worked in the round too. So I like working in the round. Um, and so that was something that I enjoyed about the pattern. Um, but yeah, um, both of the yarns that I used were hundred percent acrylic. Oh, um, how I was saying like, oh, this should be plenty of yarn um, because the Lion Brand um, Mandala cake that I had had 590 yards of uh, yarn in it. Um, it actually used a lot of the Mandala cake. Um, I ended up cutting off at the end um, and I'm using the last shades. The last two shades were a shade of orange and I'm using them for something else. Um, and then I switched to the Roll With It Melange and started doing them in that. Um, but I think it probably would have used the whole Mandala cake had I not switched. So it did take quite a bit of yarn. Um, I'm not sure if I had used that cake, like a little bit of it at all, on something else um, before or not. But um, just something to note is it did take quite a bit of the yarn. But yeah, this is super light, by the way. Like, um, because of the yarn that I used, this is super light and squishy feeling. Um, so this wouldn't be like a very, like super hot kind of feeling thing. It's very open stitched. Um, I love it. It's very like boho. And then it's got the way that the, uh, layers kind of gather in the front. I think it's going to be really cute. I can't wait to see this on. Um, but this should be like a small slash medium, which should be like the perfect size. Um, I wanted to make sure that it fits, so I did like a small slash medium, um, but I think the person receiving it is more of a small, and um, I think it should be a very like 
forgiving and flexible design anyways for anybody making it. Um, I have a feeling this would fit a lot of sizes, honestly. Uh, of course, I am not a small or a medium, so I'm not going to attempt to try it on. But um, I might play around with this pattern in the future because I do think that um, it could definitely be made into a plus size friendly pattern um, with like a little bit of modifications. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do that right now because I'm working on a lot of things at one time right now. Like a lot of things at one time and I have a really bad habit of starting new things also. So like I keep starting new things and um, I might have a little bit much going on at the moment so I might wait to start it um, because I have a feeling if I start it right now it's going to end up being a, um, a whip that like sits and I don't work on it. <laughs> Like, I'll probably work up all the part that works up quick, and then when I get to, like, going around and around and it's taking longer, I'll probably be like, mm, and, like, work on other stuff. So, um, at some point, though, I will do that. Um, but yeah. Oh, and then this bow is just that ribbon that I bought, and, um, I'm really terrible at tying bows, so the sparkly part isn't on the outside for a lot of it, but I just tied it on the hanger, because I think I'm gonna put the hanger in, um uh, in the gift, like put this in a gift bag or whatever. Um, I do. And then I think I'll leave it on the hanger so that when you pull it out, you can tell what it is because I know how confusing it can be to, um, get something like this, especially so that, d that doesn't have sleeves. Um, when it's not on a hanger, it would be very confusing. Um, because it's basically a circle with sleeve, with, uh, sleeve holes. And so, um, and the top, and until you fold it over, um, this also would go up and it would just, you know, make like a big circle. So be like, what is this? Like, which way is upside down and which way is right side up and everything. So I think I will, um, give it on the hanger just so that it's easy to tell what it is, um, and doesn't take away from the moment of opening it and being like, oh, I love it. Cause you know, if you open it and you're like, oh, I love it. What is it? You know? <laughs> I've had that happen before um, where I'm, I don't know what I'm getting and uh, especially if it takes you a minute or the person has to come over and is kind of, kind of trying to flip through it with you and like arrange it. I just think it would be better to put it on the hanger. But yeah, I really love the colorway. Here's another example of they're lucky that this doesn't fit me because I would be like, I might have to keep that for myself. <laughs> uh, I like every time I make things, I want to keep them. I'm like, okay, working on this for somebody else. And I'm like, oh, I love it so much. I love it so much. I kind of want to keep it. Not kind of. I, I always want to keep everything. But I guess that just shows that I successfully created what I was trying to create. And I love it a lot. But um, I also really do love giving gifts. And um, I am excited. I'm really excited this year for Christmas because last year I hadn't been crocheting that long and it took me a really long time to make things. Um, so I really, I only got to do a couple of um, crocheted gifts for Christmas and they took me a long time to do. Um, so this year I have a goal of giving like pretty much everybody a crocheted Christmas gift. I have a list of names. I have a list of things that I want to make them. I don't have an idea for just for everybody yet, but I have an idea for like half the people on my list and I've already started making the things for several of those people on my list. Like I'm constantly adding a little bit to it and working on it. Um, so I am just really excited about that. I think it's going to be really fun. Um, watching everybody open their gifts and seeing what I made them this year. I love that. I love making handmade gifts for people. So the hardest person to make something for is going to be my mom. She is like a, an extremely difficult person to give gifts to. Um, she just, she doesn't really, um, get into things very much. Like she's just kind of like, Oh, that's cool. And you'll like never see it again. <laughs> Um, and she doesn't really appreciate handmade items, um, as much as some other people do. So, of course, I really want to come up with something that, um, that I think she'll like, but hopefully I can come up with something that she'll like. Um, but most of the other people on my list, I am, like, really excited to see their reactions because, um, they appreciate handmade items and, uh, will be excited about it. Um... 
but yeah so that is what I have to show you today I finished the circular vest and I'm really happy with it um, and this is what it looks like if anyone was interested um but yeah and I'm gonna be working on some other stuff I'm working on several things I can't show you guys right now so that has been really strange um, because usually I've been kind of showing you guys whatever I'm working on but I'm working on the gnome of the month which I can't show you guys and then I'm working on my giveaway um, winners item and I can't show you that either <laughs> so um, I've been kind of kind of uh, wanting to tell you guys what I'm working on although I have been filming clips um, for uh, the prize for the giveaway winner um, because when I send it to her I'm going to uh, when she gets it I'm gonna compile like my clips together and stuff and then I'll post a video um, of like the process I would like you know during the process the stuff I would have normally put in my daily videos to show you guys basically uh, when I'm excited and I want to talk about it with you um, I'm just making those clips and saving them so eventually you guys will get to see them anyways um, I hope you guys are having a great day I hope you guys are having a great weekend um, if you are working on some crochet or doing whatever it is you do let me know what you're doing this weekend in the comments I would love to know and I will see you guys tomorrow have a great day great day guys bye